Hello again, this is Robbie. Today I want to do a quick review of the first lens that I got when I got a DSLR. This is my 18 to 250 millimeter lens. I don't use it very often anymore because I have much bigger uh, consistent aperture professional lenses. Uh, this is a great travel lens just because of the range. If you can only go somewhere with one lens, you need to be kind of lightweight. You can see it's a relatively small lens. 18 to 250 covers the entire range. Uh, the only issue is that it has a variable aperture. The range the aperture covers is quite large. It starts at 18 millimeters at f3.5 and as you zoom it'll uh, the aperture shrinks all the way to f6.3 so that's a pretty big range. It's what two or three stops. So if you're going to be out in broad daylight this is great. If you're going to be doing stuff it, once it gets dark or dusk, then this may have issues just because the aperture is going to shrink so much. One of the cool things about this lens, it has a zoom lock, which is I really like. I wish the uh, Carl Zeiss 24-70 had. So right now it won't move until you click that. And then you can see how far this will extend out to 250 millimeters. Right now it's mounted on the A77. How long it takes to zoom. and then all the way zoomed out. This lens uses the camera's internal focusing motor. It does not have a built-in motor, which means it's a little bit lighter and smaller. Build quality of this lens is pretty good. It feels like it has quite a bit of plastic on there. The extension, this is a hard solid plastic. The zoom ring is slightly rubberized, feels pretty good. Focus ring is smaller um, than the zoom ring, feels about the same, it's rubberized. Comes with a lens hood, uh, plastic but feels solid, lens cap. I took this lens all over Europe and it performed pretty well. I was using it on an A550 with a 14 megapixel sensor and I had no problem with resolution. I haven't really used it much on the A77, but given that its sensor is a much higher resolution, I'm not sure if it'll have any um, image resolving issues given the higher resolution, but it would probably be fine. Another thing to note is that this uh, lens is made explicitly for crop sensor cameras. If you put it on a full frame camera, it will automatically crop because the back element isn't that big. It's made for crop sensors. Like all the Sony lenses I've found, it has a metal mount, which is good. So now let's hop over into Lightroom and I'll go through a couple pictures that I've taken with this lens. Um, mostly older pictures when I went to Europe. That was one of the last real times I used this lens heavily. So now let's take a look at some shots I've taken with the 18 to 250 millimeter Sony lens. So these are in Europe. This is Venice. 18 millimeters, you can see some of the lines aren't exactly parallel, but it gives you a really wide field of view. 250 millimeters, you can really reach out and see things with great detail. Florence, uh, churches really far off on a rainy day. This lens gives you reach, good contrast, and not too bad detail. Not really much of a vignette anywhere. At super wide angles, sometimes there can be a little bit of a vignette, and zoomed in all the way, there's a little chromatic aberration. But optically, the lens is pretty good. At night, 6.3 is as, this is as uh, wide as the aperture can go, but still not too bad. Of course, at wide angles, 18 millimeters, you can see some of the lines, there's quite a bit of wide angle distortion, but you're still able to capture a ton of detail. This starts to give you an idea of bokeh as things will blur out. 18 millimeters is nice because it gives you a really wide field of view. Let's see here, another one kind of giving you an idea of a little bit of bokeh as things uh, blur out past the focus point. More blurred out backgrounds. Next one. 
Another good shot of Boca, how things are blurred out, even at f9, because I'm focused here in this uh, in Saint Paul de Fonce, so far away. You can see how it starts to blur out. Wide angle inside buildings is pretty cool. You can capture almost the entire building. Another one showing how things will blur out. This is a zoom example, so this we're in a bus driving down the street, and this is fairly wide angle. Next shot is zoomed in right here. So there you can see from a moving bus, 230 millimeters. That's not too bad. This zoomed in at 250 millimeters. You can start to see we're having some color fringing chromatic aberrations around the edges. But once you get to the center, it's not bad at all. Shows you the background, how it starts to blur out. This is where a 2.8 lens would be ideal to just blur this noise away. 250 millimeters, so this is attempting to make this as blurry background as possible. And it fades off really nicely. Another slightly blurry background. Recent shot, 18 millimeters at night kind of neat. And then 250 millimeters, we're reaching as far as we can to try and get a close-up of these people on stage. So I hope you found this review of the Sony 18 to 250 uh, lens useful. Let me know if you have any questions or post some comments below. Thanks. Bye.